Borobudur is not a Buddha temple. When and who did Hindu, Buddhist missionaries, preachers born in pre-Islamic India enter the archipelago, so that sites in the archipelago are said to be based on one of the teachings of India. That it is true that Hindu, Buddhist originates from India and it is not true that sites in the Indonesian archipelago are based on Hindu, Buddhist. In fact what is depicted on these sites is the teaching that underlies the birth of Hinduism, Buddhism and Jaina in India. Understand this. Hinduism is the amalgamation or synthesis of various traditions and cultures in India. Synthesis arose around 500 to 200 BC in India, with diverse origins and no founding figures growing side by side with Buddhism until the 8th century. From North India, Hindu synthesis, it spreads south. Late 18th century, Hindu became the equivalent term for Indian who was not Muslim, not Sikh, not Jaina, not Christian, not Buddhist, encompassing a wide variety of adherents and practitioners of different traditional beliefs. It means, the term, Hindu, is an antonym to other beliefs. Then the word, Hindu, with the addition of the, ism, ending was added around the 1830s to refer to culture and, religion. The term was accepted by people India itself in terms of building national identity to oppose colonialism. Hinduism, as a gathering place for various coherent and independent traditions, supported by the Sanskritization of the 19th century under the dominance of Western colonialism and Indology, from now on the term, Hinduism, is widely used. In short, in India before the 9th century AD, a formal teaching named was born which was recognized in India as well to distinguish not the two religions that were born in the 5th century BC Buddhism, Jaina was also not Islam based on Veda. The root of Hinduism is Brahmanism. Old Vedic teachings are based on Vedic, which was brought by the Saka Kakya Kaka Aryan, meaning this understanding was brought by immigrants, a native Indian nation named Dravida. The origins of religion in India began with the entry of the Aryan Kakya, Saka nation which brought enormous changes in the life order of Indian society from 3102 BC to 1300 BC. That the Aryans were not the first inhabitants of India and the Harappan, Dravidian, civilization existed long before their arrival, this means that the Aryan or Vedic culture was not the sole source of early civilization in India, that the source came from somewhere else. This change occurred because the Aryan people integrated their culture with the native Indian, Dravidians, and then this integration gave birth to three Indian religions, the Aryan nation after it started writing the Vedic scriptures, this holy book is written in four parts such as Reg Veda, Sama Veda, Yayur Veda, and Atharva Veda. These newcomers are humans who came from the archipelago, our ancestors were the Saka Kakya Kaka Aryan. The literacy of this word was perfectly recorded in Borobudur, with the word, Mahetsakya. The text of the Mahabharata Udyoga Parva, 108 can be interpreted and even concluded that the East was the origin of teachings before being recorded as a book called Veda, a location designated as East. This is where the creator of the universe first time singing Veda. It means the literacy of the word East in the above quotation as Southeast Asia. Nusantara Indonesia. This is where the Dharmic original teachings originated originated and were studied long before the existence of teachings that were born in India. So, the root of Hinduism is Brahmanism. Ancient Vedic teachings are based on Vedic, which was brought by the Saka Kakya Kaka Aryan. The text literacy of the word Kakya is printed on the bas-reliefs of Borobudur. Now it cannot be seen because it is closed. Dot not for technical reasons it wanted to collapse and after it was published there was a relief, porn. Kaka are the ancestors of the archipelago, written on the bas reliefs of Buana Kaka Fala, Borobudur with the literary text of the word Maachakya, Nation Kakya, Sakya, Shaitya, Saka, Great Aryan, the Kaka, already existed far from 78 AD from the time of conquering the King Indian, Salivahana. This 78 AD figure is misinterpreted to calculate the beginning of the Saka year in the inscription. Until the history of the Indonesian nation was lost or eliminated before 78 AD, this was very detrimental to all of us. Various new cultural practices such as sacrificial rituals which all form the basis of the early Hindu Veda culture, the basis of which is the teaching of our ancestors. Dharmic is Dharma, Dhamma, Dhamo recorded in the literacy of the word Kusaladharmabhajana in the bas-relief figure of Borobudur. R.S.H.I. Markandeya, referring to 
The Sanskrit Mahabharata epic consisting of 100,000 slokas over 2,000 years old is related to the name Markandeya, Mahabharata 2.82.70, listed about the name Markandeya, continually with the word, Tirtha, as follows. Markandeya who was blessed by Vishnu, performed many, Tapasya, a, Tirtha, this was where Agni arrested, having divided Jambudvipa among his nine sons. From the above quotation, it can be understood that the name, Markandeya, has been around for thousands of years and is written in the book, Mahabharata. This name will be used by RSHI in the next era. Then there is the word, Tirtha, written. This word is a word that has existed for a long time in the previous archipelago. The word, Tirtha comes from the word, Stati, Rtha, Stati equals sustainability, nurturing, Rtha equals truth, true life. The word Rtha is often used for the word, Kirtha. Religion in Bali was originally called, Religion of Tirtha, later became, Hindu Bali, this new name in, Paste, in 1950. Dot dot. Gwana Chaka Fala is now published named Borobudur. There are 160 panels on the Ba reliefs of Borobudur which are now not exposed to the language and teachings that underlie the original teachings of our ancestors, not from India. The twelve words, Svarga, are not, Nirvana, Nibbana, and the other words are Kusaladharmabhajana and Maachakya proves that in this land the, original Dharma, teachings originated and originated now perfectly preserved in Bali. In the past brought by our ancestors the, Kaka, Saka, Kakya, Arya left the Indonesian archipelago. Raffles, named this magnificent building with the name, Bor, plus the word, Budor, with the assumption that near the site there is a village, Bor, in fact there is no village called Bor. Budor, in Javanese means, ancient, whereas the Javanese meaning of Budor or Bidor is, boils. Johannes Jaishbertus Kasparis, Dutch philologist wrote in his 1954 dissertation predicting his development around the year 824 AD, this, estimate, is not the result of conclusions based on academic scientific research. The books which are said to underlie the design of this building are, Shilpa Shastra, and, Vastu Sastra from India. In fact, all of these books only existed in the 5th century AD, this magnificent building had already existed before. The basic relief which is, not exposed, is published with the name, Karmawibanga, using the interpretation of the, Mahakarmawibanga, manuscript, but does not fully follow the manuscript. Burnett Kemper's 1970-151 in 1976. Borobudur, published based on, Mahayana, India, really. The most important excavation by Indonesian Buddhist scholars is the concept of, divinity, in, Buddhism which was adopted from various studies of ancient texts in the book, Sanghyang Kamahayanikan, the teachings of the ancestors of the Indonesian nation, namely the concept of, Hyang Widi Tunggal, and on the basis of one of them. Here, the state entered, Buddha, into one of the official religions of the state. When Bhikkhu Ashan Jinarakita came up with the idea of holding a national, Trisuki Waisak, ceremony at Borobudur on May 22, 1953, from now on, Borobudur, published, based on, Mahayana. A nun also a Thai academic concluded that only 50%, conforms, to the biography of Ben. Siddhartha Gautama and the rest he does not understand. In the archipelago in the 4th to 7th century AD, it was not recorded that Indian missionaries came to the archipelago. Chinese pilgrims, who came to the archipelago were to, learn, and record the, Dharmic original teachings that had existed for a long time in the archipelago, not to bring them. Teachings from his country were spread to the archipelago. Palembang was not the center of Buddhist teachings. These travel notes were translated and annotated by Korean by the recension of the Chinese text by James Legg. Chinese pilgrims who came to the archipelago to study and record teachings from the archipelago, which were brought to their country, not carrying the teachings of Buddhism, and then spreading them to the previous Indonesian archipelago. They are, Sung Yun 518-521, Ad. Inside the royal capital was erected a, chapel, of extraordinary construction, in which the seven precious substances had been used, the king purified himself according to the strict, Brahmanic, rule. Chapel, is the name for, Borobudur, by Sung Yun. F.A. Huan 337-422, Ad. The F.A. Huan building with a, statue, in it beside a large tree is the, Mendit site. 
In 399 to 414 AD, F. A. Huan, while traveling in Svarnadvai Pa, noted, following the river Po Nai is the river Panay, Kampar, in a place where the students had lived there and made movements, walking in a circle around the tope stupa, as well as four teachers sitting in four corners. In this place, the tower has been erected. Pradaxina Prasawiya, Tawaf in Muara Takas. Sung Yun 518 to 521 AD records the existence of a power which he calls Saka K Satrapas, from the identification of coins which are thought to have existed around 225 AD with the image of Tope, or the Muarataka Stupa. In the years 602 664 AD, Hyan Sang recorded what he saw in Svarnadvipa. Beside it was a stupa built by the king, about 200 feet high, near this is a sign where the Tathagata walked it. Come here. Wei Ning 664 AD 667 AD traveled for three years on the island of Java to translate a sutra about the understanding of life after death in this archipelago called Svarga, translation assisted by a Javanese expert named Jnanabhadra, Svarga, not Nirvana. I Sing or Yi Jing, 671-695 AD. A traveler from China who came to the archipelago three times departed from Guangzhou sailing 20 days for 10 years in Sriwijaya 685 to 695 AD, he stayed for six months in Sriwijaya two months in Malayu to study. Atisa de Pamkara Shrenyana was born into royalty, his father was a king known as Kalyana Shri and his mother was Sri Prabhavati, he traveled to the archipelago Svarnadvipa stayed for 12 years here then returned to India, died in Nidang, Tibet. Atisa de Pamkara Shrenyana is the original name, another name for Odish was de Pankorsrigan, the figure of the spread of Mahayana and the second wave of Vajrayana to 11th century Tibet, born from Prabhavati Devi and Srikalyan 980 AD. In 1013 AD, Atisha traveled with 125 people sailing across the ocean and storms to an area called Boga, a country which at a certain time if the sun is directly overhead produces the effect, without shadow, is an equinox at the site of the Takas estuary not Palambang, or Sri Lanka. Of the 21 youths who were sent, almost all of them died on the way and only two young men Rinchen Zongpo and Legshe already mastered Sanskrit, on their return the two young men told the king that it was Atisha who taught in Tibet. Atisa de Pamkara Shrenyana lived for 12 years in the archipelago Svarnadvipa studied with a professor named, Serlingpa Dharmakirti. Or Svarnadvipa Dharmakirti, returned to his country teaching in Tibet for three years and died 1054 in Nidang, Tibet. In Svarnadvipa Nusantara in an even older period, long before the Vedic era was written in India 6500 BC there was a teaching that was adopted, namely, Dharma, the original teachings of the archipelago of the Saka people of our ancestors, this is where the initial source of the teachings was, Dharmic original, then in the era after it was recorded the pioneer figures. Sanjaya. Saraputra, Dharmadasa, Dharmapala, Svarnadvipa Dharmakirti, Kumari Labada, Adi Sankara, Kri Janayasa, they are Putra Nusantara pioneers of Dharmic Original, whose landmark in Muotakui is now published. Muaratakas is the center of advanced civilization before 78 AD who built sites in the archipelago as well as Nalanda in Indian Bihar later named Sribajaya with his character Silendra. The ancestors of the Indonesian nation, the Brahman was referred to by European historians as Brahmanism before the Veda was written. They were the Saka, the Aryans who brought their Dharmic original teachings outside the archipelago which underlies the birth of Buddhism, Hinduism and Jainism long before their names. Listed below, namely Dharmadasa 700 to 620 BC, Dharmapala 670 to 580 BC, Sanjaya Balathaputta 6 BC. Saraputra 568 to 484 BC. Svarnadvipa Dharmakirti 610 BC 520 BC. There were two names at different times. Kumari Labada I 618 to 540 BC. Adi Sankara 569 to 537 BC. Kri Janayasa Dapunta Hyam 671 to 702 AD. Rshi Markandeya, 9th century AD. The Dharmak. Brahman teachings that were brought by the Arya Kakya, Saka, were our ancestors long before and later led to the emergence of interpretations of the Vedic chess scriptures that gave birth. Aranyaka and Upanishad, Veda, was studied and interpreted freely, 
this freedom led to the emergence of several different teachings and schools. In 563 to 483 BC, was born Siddhartha Gautama, the figure of Buddhism. In the years 549 to 477 BC, was born Mahavira figure, Jainism. In the 9th century AD, the British era in India was born a religion that did not come from a founder or one point in time like other religions to distinguish neither the two before nor Islam. In Svarnadvipa Indonesia in an even older era, long before the Vedic era 6500 BC there was a teaching that was adopted, namely, Dharma, the original teachings of the archipelago of the Sakha of our ancestors, this is where the main basic source of the, original Dharmic, teachings, in Bali is perfectly stored, it is called the teaching or religion, Therta. So, it is true that Hindu, Buddhist originated from India and it is not true that the sites in the Indonesian archipelago are based on Hindu, Buddhist from India. The, teachings, that are perfectly preserved in Balinese culture and illustrated on these sites are the, teachings, that underlie their birth. Hindus, Buddhists and Jainas were brought by the, Kaka, Saka, Kakya, Arya of our ancestors outside the Indonesian archipelago. Wana Saka Nutmeg, Sangharama, Mahaviharya the Thera Arya, Wana Kaka Fala, Sangharama is a place, study, study, original Dharmic, in the past long before the 5th century BC. Maha Thupa, Maha or Mahe means great or great. Thupa is the beginning of the literacy of the word, Stupa, Chinese pilgrims to the archipelago called this word, Tope. Arya is the Kakya, Saka clan, the ancestor of the Indonesian archipelago earlier. In Indonesia there are hundreds of Saka year inscriptions, these are authentic historical evidence and facts. Mahaviharya is a place of practice and spiritual contemplation procession made big and majestic, Maha and Viharya combine to become Mahaviharya, the word, Vihara, begins with this word. Theras, are people who study or are already, masters, at, the, original Dharmic, teachings, are called Theras. Vwana Kakafala is the name of the building. Literacy word Vwana, Vwana. Three stages of building form Vwana Chaka Fala as a description of the three planes of existence in this universe, namely, Tri Laksana, also called, Bhavanatraya. 1. Bhavana Lasting, Eternal Realm. 2. Bhavana Driyo, Outward Nature. 3. Bhavana Triya, Alam Rohaniya. Bhavanatraya, are the three planes of existence in this universe, not Kama Rupa Arupa Datu the Indian term, when did they come here? Moksartham Jagadita Yasi Aati Dharma. Moksa, the contemplation is with the practice of Tapa, or Topo, restraint to reach the spiritual level of Brata, discipline, procedures are done to improve the quality of humanity. In Sundanese Wiwitan it is called Bawana Niskala, Bawana Alam Tenga, and Bawana Nyungkum, Sasaka Domas. The Parmalime Batak culture divides the three major patterns of the natural Wana Batak term, Banua. 1. Banua Ginjang, Heavenly Realm. 2. Banua Tonga, Our Dimension Nature. 3. Banua Toru, Hell, Moksartham Jagaditaya, The Happiness of the Afterlife, Moksa, The Contemplation of Tapa, Topo, Tapo or Samadhi, Self-Restraint to Reach the Spiritual Level of Brata, The Disciplined Procedures in this Archipelago are called Tapa Brata the term Parayangan. Tapa Brodo, Java, Upasana, Bali calls it Tapo, Kanyago, in Svarnadvipa. Kamala in Sulawesi. Details of this spiritual contemplation procession appearing with a statue of a cross-legged sitting position on top of the Vwana Chaka Fala building. 1. Topaning bodies. 2. Topaning lust. 3. Topaning booty. 4. Topaning suksmao. 5. Topaning kehio. 6. Topaning jessing. The ancestors of the archipelago were the Saka, recorded in the word. Mahachakya, the Kakya, Kaka, Saka, the original teaching of the archipelago's ancestors, Dharma, appeared in the literacy of the word. Kusala Dharma Bajana, originated in Svarnadvipa long before AD, depicted in Vwana Chaka Fala perfectly recorded in Bali, underlies the growth of three religions coloring India, this is an academic fact. By Santosaba.